Hey everybody, what's up? It's Kiki and I am coming to you guys today with a first impressions, first impressions kind of thing of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover Foundation. Um, I call it a first impressions because as you guys know, I did get a, quite a few samples of different foundations that I wanted to try and I tried them out actually before I went and purchased the full bottle. I got questions on where you can get samples from. Most stores give you samples. The only store I've ever went in and they wouldn't give me a sample was Ulta. Sephora gave me sample, Nordstrom's gave me sample, Saks gave me samples, Macy's gave me samples. The only store I've ever had not give me a sample was Ulta. So that's where you can get samples for them to try out different foundations like I did. That's I think that's the best thing to do. And then decide if you want to get that foundation in and then go pick it up. And I applied this about an hour ago. It is now 4 o'clock. But I had to do my hair, finish my makeup and all that stuff. So it's been applied for about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour now. And we are going to wear this all day. It does come packaged in a tube instead of in a pump bottle. Which is okay with me. But when I squeezed it, I did get a little bit more than I wanted out. I guess I'll just have to, you know, work with it and learn how not to squeeze so much out. But it's okay being in the squeeze bottle instead of having a pump. To me, it's okay. It was $36 or $38. I don't remember. I got it from Saks because Macy's didn't have it and Nordstrom didn't sell Estee Lauder in, in the store. I am in the color 6W1 Sandalwood. And I think this is the darkest shade, I think. So, I don't know if you guys are darker than me. Any darker than me, I don't know if you guys will be able to find your shade. I don't know about online. I didn't check. But in the store, I think this was the darkest shade. It gives you a really, really matte finish. So, if you're someone who likes a matte finish, I would definitely recommend this to you. Someone who has dry skin, I don't know if I would recommend it to you. Like, really dry, like, really, really dry skin. I don't know if I would recommend it to you because it does get really matte. I did highlight so that I do look a little bit dewy as well as I spray with matte charge water. But that's stuff that I would normally do with any foundation, whether I'm testing it out or whatever. So I do all my same makeup steps when I'm testing out a foundation as if I did before. And it says this is the Double Wear Maximum Cover Camouflage Makeup for Face and Body. It does have an SPF of 15, so I will take some flash pictures and see if it shows up white and all that kind of stuff. So I am going to show you guys how I applied the Maximum Cover Foundation. It is definitely full coverage, but it is a light weight foundation. I don't understand that because it covers everything, but it's not a thick foundation like the Kat Von D. <sighs> Nowhere near as thick as Kat Von D, but it covers just as good as Kat Von D. And I like the color. Really don't feel it on your face, but it is kind of masky. It gives like a mask look. like. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. Today I used my Becca the One brush and I love the way it went on with this brush. So I will definitely be using these two together from now on to apply my foundation when I use this. On my lips I have on the um, LA Girl Lip Glaze. Um, I found it at Kmart. If you guys follow me on Twitter or Instagram, both at Miss Diva Like, you would have seen that I posted that. I found it at Kmart. They had the full display like with all the colors. They had one of the Koi Love in the display which I got it but that's the purple one and then I picked up the bubblegum what is it baby doll um, pink color so I got that and this is the one that I'm actually wearing on my lips I like it but it keeps moving like everything keeps going to the center of my lips and I have to keep you know rubbing my lips together but I like the way it feel it does have a menthol or minty feel to it and I usually don't like that MAC plush glass you can't give it about that bare minerals you can't get me to get that either. It is a minty little feeling, but it's nothing too bad. For my blush, I have on the Makeup Forever HD Cream Foundation, uh, Cream Blush in the number five, and the number five one five, and it's this beautiful orange color. Love it. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm and I actually topped it with a blush that I hadn't used yet, and it's from the Pruenza Schuler Collection, and it is in Ocean City, and it's this corally blush. So I just topped it with that. Normally I leave it as it is, but I topped it today. And for my eyes, I just used the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette. And 
I have on Beauty Supply Store Lashes in the blue box in number 42. So stay tuned. We'll see how this wears throughout the day. I am going out with Hubby for his birthday. His birthday is actually Friday the 27th. But Wednesday night we went out to see Beyonce and Jay-Z on the run tour. And then tonight is Thursday and we're going to dinner and movie Cine Bistro. So stay tuned to see how this foundation holds up. Okay, so it is now 11.18, if you guys can see that, 11.18, so I've had this on for over 8 hours, so I've had this on for over 8 hours, and still looks good, I really, really like it, I'm still kind of mad, I have some oiliness around my nose right here, my under eye concealer is creased all the way. But pretty much everything else looks good. Mm. Yeah, I'm still feeling good. Um, I just got back in from the movies and dinner and drinks. Yeah. So I am definitely feeling the drinks right now, but I wanted to come through and update you guys and let you guys know how the foundation wore for the day. I think it is pretty good. So two out of the three that I bought are perfect. Loving them. So all I have now is one more foundation to try out. I didn't blot or anything. The only thing I touched up was my lipstick. So this is exactly eight hours or a little more than eight hours of wear. So you guys can see what it looks like. So the double wear foundation is awesome. I'm glad that I kept it. And didn't take it back so yeah once again i'm a 6w1 sandalwood and i really really like it so let me get out of here go wash my face and hit the stack because yeah love you guys and i will talk to y'all later